Hey friend, hey, it's yours truly, Andrika J. Austin. You know I go by Coach AJ, and I love helping coaches confidently convert conversations to clients, cash, checks, and credit cards. It all started when I went from homelessness, divorce, the downsizing of a corporate career, and the death of my mom, all happening on the same day. Yep, if you've been a part of the coaching community, then you know a little bit about my story and how I enjoy sharing how I got here, being right here with you as a master life coach trainer, having certified and trained over 130 life coaches around the world. And they're not just any life coaches. These are black women of faith. They are certified. They are skilled. They are qualified. They have been professionally trained for how to ask really good questions to lead their clients to their own aha moments, breakthroughs, and transformations. Does that sound good to you? If you want to know how coaching can impact your life and, of course, your income, head over to www.thelifecoachquiz.com. Again, www.thelifecoachquiz.com. I'm dropping it in the comments below. Almost 200 of you guys have taken this quiz. I'm amazed. I feel blessed. I'm so thankful because now you're a part of my community. You should have got an email today in your inbox as soon as you woke up this morning telling you how I have been able to 10x my income in the last five months when I was thought to believe it would take five years. Oh my gosh, how did I do it? I share the steps with you. I also share with you what it means to be a life coach because a lot of people don't know what a life coach does. And so I'm here today during our life coach live stream to talk about the three predictions that I have for the life coaching industry. Now, the truth of the matter is I gave these predictions about four years ago because I could see where the life coaching industry was going. So I've been studying and reading books and watching documentaries, and I've attended so many conferences and workshops and webinars and seminars and events, and I've served on boards and behind the scenes and have been part of groundbreaking research dealing with speakers, authors, coaches, and trainers. Now, I mentioned those four areas because a lot of people think that once you become a coach, you instantly become a speaker, and that's not true. Let me tell you why. So I had a client who, um, they're actually still currently my clients, but this happened a moment ago. They hired someone who called themselves a coach, but was also known very well in the speaking industry. And he quickly came to find out that a coach and a speaker are not necessarily the same thing. Now, I'm not here to teach you what the difference is between a coach and a speaker per se. However, I'm teaching you why you as a potentially certified life coach, once you head over to the lifecoachquiz.com, need to pick a lane. Coach AJ, what do you mean by pick a lane? Well, because this particular speaker slash coach, uh, self-proclaimed coach, had not been through training, my client was not able to get what he needed. Now, I say he, you guys know I mostly work with black women, but I also work with a few smart men. That means you got to have your mind right, your money right, and you're ready to work, okay? <laughs> and so because this client hired someone who just called themselves a coach, it led to a lot of frustration, a lot of tension, a lot of migraine headaches, a lot of yelling and screaming and crying, all because that particular speaker slash coach did not choose a lane. Now, when I train and certify coaches, a lot of the times the question that they ask is this one lingering question saying, how do I choose my niche, AJ? How do I pick my lane? Well, if you've never heard the term niche or niche, it's where you pick a specific target within a population. For example, for me, it's black women, not just black women. Let me, let me start from the back. Let me go back and break this down very simple because my coach says you have to break it down to where a six-year-old or a sixth grader can understand it. So my niche and target market, my lane is, of course, life coaching, but not just life coaching. I'm a master life coach, not just a master life coach, but I'm a master life coach trainer. I have a degree in training and development. I've certified over 130 coaches from around the world as far as Malaysia, Africa, Australia, Austria, the Cayman Islands, North America, Africa. I could go on and on and on, but I have mastered the life coach certification and training process, but not just that. I've mastered it for black women. 
So we can start at women, then we can go to black women, and then we can go to black women of faith. And then we can go to black women of faith within the ages of 45 to 55. Now, again, if you've been part of my coaching community behind the scenes, or you have attended one of the Life Coach live streams, and you know that I have broken my demographic all the way down in a previous live where I shared with you exactly who I serve and how that could possibly be you. One thing I know for sure is that as coaches, we cannot serve everyone. We do have to pick a lane. We do have to pick a niche. We do have to pick something that usually resembles something that we've experienced or been through in our life. So if you're struggling with saying, I want to become a life coach, but I don't know what lane I would choose, what specialty I would choose, what niche I would choose, what target market I would choose. Look within. Notice everything that I said that I specialize in. I am. I'm black. I'm a woman, I'm a Christian, and I can relate to women in this demographic. So who is it that you would like to serve? That's how you pick your lane so that you don't cause your coaching clients confusion, frustration, headaches, tears, all of the above. Okay. So we start there with you picking a lane. Then when you decide to become a certified life coach by heading over to www.thelifecoachquiz.com, you're going to see what speaks to your heart. What resonates with you? Are you indeed a coach? Are you ready to be coached? Because as I mentioned today, as I showed you how to stay in your lane, we're now going to dive into my predictions because my first prediction is how people, meaning potential clients, potential coaching clients, they're going to connect more to an authentic coach. They're also going to look for an authentic coaching experience. And so what that usually looks like is if you pick a lane and if the lane that you pick is something that you personally have been through, your clients are going to connect with you right away. You don't have to change who you are. You don't have to change your personality. You have to change nothing about yourself for your real clients to connect with you because you're being your real self and you've picked a lane that is true to life for you, whether it's in your personal or your professional development. So, for example, if your story is similar to mine where you dealt with homelessness, divorce, the downsizing of a job, the death of a loved one, dropping out of school. I could pick any of those lanes and coach around, but I stay in the area of how you can take the pain of what all of that feels like and make something of it, turn it into a purpose here on earth and get paid to do it. And so that's what I do when I certify black women of faith around the world. I tell my story, regardless of who hears it, male or female, there's always a piece of my story that they can personally relate to. That's because I stay true and authentic to what I know. And that's how potential clients connect with me. And that's how they connect with you too. If you're live with here with me on Facebook and you have questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you all for joining me here live. Let me tell you about prediction number two that I have for the life coaching industry. Number two prediction is something that I believe to be true, which is your clients, those that buy or purchase or invest in your service, they're also looking to be your best testimonial and your best success story. So it's all great when you tell them the success you've had, like how I mentioned, I have multiplied my revenue in the shortest amount of time that I ever thought possible. Because I share that, my coaches that I certify around the world believe that to be true for themselves. And they often tell me, Coach AJ, I will be your next success story. And so your coaching clients are looking to give you testimonials, tell the world and other people how great you are. They're looking to refer you or other people to you. They're looking to be that story that you mentioned when you travel the world, even virtually, and speak on the success of your coaching clients. Because people will ask about your success rate. They'll often ask and try to pick your brain about how many of your clients are doing great things in the world. So when you take on a new client as a new coach, just imagine this client is looking to brag on how brilliant you are. But you'll never know what that looks like if you haven't been certified, if you don't know how to coach, if you don't know how to stay in your lane, if you don't know how to pick a niche or a target market and help them by being a really good, professionally trained, skilled, qualified, and certified life coach. 
I'm a big advocate of certification because it proves that you've at least taken the time to sit with yourself, your story, and your skills and learn how to pull out greatness within those you are called to this earth to serve. If you want to know what that looks like, head over to www.thelifecoachquiz.com. It takes 60 seconds and you'll know 100% for sure what your next step should be. So again, that's www.thelifecoachquiz.com. And I'm going to wrap up with my final prediction of the top three predictions of the life coaching industry and how to use that to stay in your lane, to pick your truth, because people will connect with you in a more authentic way when you're true to life and your stories and even your struggles to success. Your current clients, your future clients, they're looking to be success stories and testimonials because When you're a coach who stands in your truth, for example, again, if you're a Christian, if you're a woman, if you're heart-centered, if you take no excuses, if you speak from where your clients are and what they've been through in their life and business, you're going to be seen as more transparent, honest, and vulnerable. And this is what ultimately attracts the right people to you. So as a recap, my top three predictions are all about you being who you already are, standing in your truth, and bringing the right people to you. But only because you've brought yourself to the right people. What that looks like is taking the time to invest in your education, your next level, your next steps, your knowledge. Learn from someone who's been there. Don't try to guess. Don't try to copy and paste and see what you or do what you see other people do. Don't try to make up things as you go. Success, yes, it leaves clues. And sometimes all you have to do is reach out to ask for help about where to get started, how to get started, what's required of you, because that's what you're going to share with your coaching clients in a nutshell. So again, I want to meet you over at www.thelifecoachquiz.com, where I will get an instant email in my inbox When you take the quiz, it's only 60 seconds and it's going to reveal unto you, daughter, (laughs) if you're ready for the next step in becoming a coach, not a friend, not a mentor, not a colleague, not a bestie, not someone who just threw coach in front of their name and now you're infecting other people. That's a whole nother training that we won't get into today, but it is serious and it's a topic that needs to be addressed more than once. I've talked about it before on previous trainings, but today we're talking about my three predictions. I just recapped those for you. We've talked about what it looks like to stay in your lane. Pick a lane first and stay in it. Stick with it and help those that you've been called to help. And again, if you need help on that journey to success, head over to www.thelifecoachquiz.com. If you've been wondering what a life coach does, what's required of you as a coach, I'm going to meet you there. Until we meet again, my friends, remember there's someone somewhere. They are waiting on you, future life coach, to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs. Because when you impact one life, you impact generations. So let your light shine because when you let yours shine, you give others permission to do the same. I am master life coach trainer, AJ Austin. I do what I love. I love what I do. I'll meet you back here. Make sure your notifications are on very, very soon. Thanks for joining. Have a phenomenal rest of your day. Talk soon. God bless. Bye, friends.